In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Scimitar of the Seven as well as the Daybreaker Shield. These two legendary items from the Gerudo Desert or the Gerudo Town. And I'm gonna show you which quest you need to do and how to get these two items. Okay, cool. So the first things first is you have to finish the Lightning Temple and then return to Gerudo Town right over here. We're gonna be going to the jewelry store where you'll be getting a quest called The Missing Owner. Here's the jewelry store, you can't miss it. It literally has an icon on the map too. You speak to Kara here, she'll give you a quest of The Missing Owner. You'll have to find The Missing Owner in the Turuma Dunes, which is located right over here, exactly on my location right now. I'm standing right next to her. But to get there, I recommend using something that flies and in in the distance you'll see her smoke from her campfire so she's really easy to spot all you have to do is land on the rock near her because there is a Mulduga circling her so if you're walking on the sand you're gonna end up fighting that thing before you even get here which anyway you have to fight the thing but I'm gonna show you how to do it and you're gonna use a device called the time bomb you're gonna whip it out of your devices inventory and you're just gonna throw it just throw it down there once the Mulduga is nearby it will eat it it will explode inside its stomach it will fall on the ground and then you can go attack its stomach from the weak end right over here so underneath it and this is how you gain access to its weak spot <laughs> shout out to all the people who try to use bomb flowers on the sand thinking it's going to work like breath of the wild anyway once you've defeated it you can speak to her she'll say come back to the town to get a special reward at her jewelry shop but first try open up this chest maybe you're lucky because we do need a gerudo scimitar or shield unfortunately that one was a spear now we're going to return back to the uh, town and we're going to speak to her and then we're going to get a reward this reward is going to be a diamond and then she's going to tell you she will make you the the arms of the seven which is the scimitar of the seven sword as well as the daybreaker shield but she's going to need four diamonds 10 pieces of flint, a Gerudo Scimitar, and a Gerudo Shield. Doesn't matter if they're decayed, you just need to have one of each of those items. Those, The Scimitar and the Shield are probably the hardest to get. The best way is throughout the desert finding chests and things like from these um, worm things on that hang on stuff, like these lightning ones over here. I just shoot like an ice fruit at them like this, freeze them, and then shoot like a normal arrow, and then it breaks them and it makes them reveal their things. There's many ways to, to defeat these things. Now this is gonna be luck-based because you're gonna have to hope in the inventory of this thing you're gonna get what you want so you might have to save before defeating them but when I open this one over here I got lucky and I got the Gerudo shield which is one of the the items that I needed now I just need a scimitar luckily if we turn around and we go through the hole in the ground here I think there was some rocks here and we broke it with a bomb flower and you go down in here we did come to this cave previously for I think it was the uh, divine helmet which is also located inside this cave now once we're in here this is the location of the cave in case you wanted to come here and, and find these things but you can probably find similar chests and stuff with Gerudo items like this in different caves around this whole area you just have to find a Gerudo shield and a Gerudo scimitar but when you enter down here and you go to the right you're gonna have to break a bunch of rocks but if I defeated this one over here around the right side, it drops a chest and I managed to get a Gerudo Scimitar here, which is perfect. And now you just have to take these two items back to the lady and she will craft you the Scimitar of the Seven as well as the Daybreaker Shield. This of course is going to cost four diamonds, 10 flint, and those two weapons, well, the weapon and the shield that you brought to get these two items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck and thank you so much for watching.